Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I want to go over how to use the merge statement in Microsoft SQL Server. The merge statement is probably one of the most powerful features in SQL Server, especially for data engineering tasks. And using the merge statement, we can insert updates or delete rows based on differences in a source table and a target table. Very similar to Upsert, if you are coming from other database systems such as PostgreSQL, or you have worked with web APIs. Now let's look at an example on how we can use merge statement in SQL Server. So here in my demo database, I have four tables. So these three tables represent transaction table. Now assuming that uh, these three tables represent transaction from November 1st, November 2nd, and November 3rd. And I also have a master table, which is going to hold the aggregated data used for reporting purpose. All right, so let me print the master table. Now if I print the master table, here, uh, let's do this. Let me chunk the table first. All right, so if I print the master table, there are no records uh, currently in the master table. Now assuming that I want to add records from uh, each transaction tables. Now assuming that I want to add the uh, records from each transaction tables, but I also don't want to have any uh, duplicate records. Now using the merge statement, here I'm going to put this on a separate window. All right, so here me connect to my database first. Now to use the merge statement, so I'm going to insert merge, followed by the table name that is going to be the target. In this case, I want to add my records to the master table. All right, so I'm going to reference the table as target. Then I need to uh, specify the source table. So here I'm going to type using followed by the source table name. And I want to start from November 1st. And this one's going to be source. Now here I need to specify the column that I'm going to use to join these two tables. All right, so here I'm going to type on followed by the column ID. Now from the source table and the math table. Should we print these two tables? Now here my primary key is going to be this uh, ID uh, column. So I'm going to reference the column, source.id, is equals to target.id. Now once we connect these two tables, we cannot perform the uh, opposition. All right, so here I can say, when the records are not match, so I'm going to type when not match by target. And it's going to be for new records insertion. So basically I'm saying that if the records are not matched, they want to insert the records to the target table. So here I'll type then insert, followed by the column names that I'm going to reference to uh, take the records, put that into the target table. Now let's say I want to insert the uh, subreddit's column, title column, number of comments column, and let's see what else and the uh, score column. So I'll take uh, those five columns. Oh, and the ID count. So basically everything. So I'm going to type the uh, count name. You don't necessarily need to uh, reference all the counts, just the counts that you want to uh, put the records into the master table. And the uh, score count. Now if you want to reference the source data, so here I'm going to type values. And me expand the window a little bit. All right, so by default, when you uh, type the count headers, it's going to reference the target table. And to reference the uh, source table, we want to reference the alias followed by the count name. Now that's for the new records insertion. Now, if you want to update records, uh, if the records already exist, so here I will say when match, and this one's going to be for records update. 
then on to perform update operation. All right, so for update, uh, it's going to be set. So very similar to how you update records using SQL. And this one's very similar to uh, the insert statement. So here I'll say, if the uh, record IDs are matched, they want to simply update three counts this time. So I want to update the title, number of comments, and the score. Now when I run the merge statement, I also want to print the outputs that tells me uh, what records got updated and what records got inserted. And this one's optional, but I always like to include the output just in case. So the output is optional, but I always like to include the output just in case. All right, so if you want to say output followed by the dollar symbol action. Now for the report, I want to print the records got inserted first. Followed by the records either got updated or deleted. Now, there's one more thing that you must to include, which is the uh, semicolon at the end. Otherwise, it's going to raise an exception. So, this is going to be the entire merge statement SQL script. Now, if I go ahead and run the SQL statement, now based on transaction from November 1st, we inserted three records. If I go ahead and uh, Run the select statement from November 1st transaction. From this table, we only have three records, which means that we're going to insert three new records to our master table. Now I'm going to change the source table to November 2nd. Now if I run the score statement, now this time we have two insertions and two updates. All right, so let's take a look. Now from November 2nd transaction, so these two records got updated because they exist on the uh, November 2nd transaction. In that case, we simply just want to update the uh, values. So this block is going to be responsible for updating and deleting records. Now if I take this table and I'll copy it to an Excel spreadsheet. So here we have two tables. This one's going to represent the source table records. And it's going to represent the current master uh, records. We know the insert action is going to insert new records to the master table. But for the update actions, we can uh, use, let me see. I'm missing the score column. All right, so let me put that back. So basically, we can look at this view and to see what the older values are and what the new values are going to be. Now, if I change the source data to November 3rd. And let's see the source table. Now this time we have a lot more records got inserted and updated. So the reason why you're not seeing any uh, deleting action is because uh, for record deletions, I tend to do that in a separate uh, operation. Because when it comes to uh, record deletion, I want to make sure that I double check my uh, records to make sure that I'm deleting any records that is meant for a deletion. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys find this video useful. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.